Here's our lineup of 250 Suncoast. These are 2017s. You see here we have the Horizon. That's the gel coat where they have the white in between. This is a Sinesta. This is a one that is not a Suncoast. Again, another Horizon with the red, the fire red. Horizon. And then the last one here is the wide band. And I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of this boat here. We do have the graphic on here, the hall graphic. Added for 17 is the trim tabs. Not available on uh, previous year models. Not necessarily uh, something that was needed. However, uh, when you do have them, you can get out in the deeper seas a little bit. As you board, you do have the, uh, the fuel fill up on both sides and then also the fresh water shower. Fill up there and another fill up there. Of course, pull up cleats, your uh, wash down water, you fill up here. And then down in here, your battery disconnect switch, your pumps, everything else you need to get to. Bluetooth stereo controls. For this one, we do have the fish package. So you have the rod holder, cup holder combinations on both sides. As we enter, there can be a doorway here. If you can see it over on that model with the one with the teak swim platform in the back, uh, there is an insert and then a filler cushion there. So that would fill in right here, uh, wrap this all around. There's also a table that goes here or all the way up in the front as well. As we go in, you see that there is a fish locker down here. It is insulated, does drain overboard. Another locker as well. And this one here is of course for your igloo cooler. Additional storage space. Hard to grab with one hand. Down here, also your air pump. And then in here, new for 17, is your live well. Pretty cool setup in there with that Lexan lid. Of course, the arch tower does fold down. You just pull those two snaps there and you can lean it forward. It is hydraulic, so it don't, will not fall on you. More storage space down below and you do see the lip, so everything does drain overboard in this boat. Another place to hook up a cigarette lighter for your uh, chargeables. Digital engine controls, of course, because this is the Yamaha 300. Recommend power assist steering for this boat. Uh, the Garmin 7-inch screen, all your controls, and you can also control the lighting here and also your Bluetooth stereo there and there as well. This seat does lean forward. Pull up on it in the middle. It's now a lean seat. And then another cooler down below here. Insulated does drain overboard. The head is very spacious. Electric flush, uh, wood flooring, sink, and uh, all, your, all your flush controls are there along with your opening port light. In the front there is uh, storage, and it's storage for your bow filler cushions. They go up there, fill in the entire bow. Of course, you got the walkthrough door. You close that off out of the elements. Additional storage down here underneath the helm. Specific spots to keep the uh, your table. Up here in the front, there's plenty of storage underneath these two seats. Kind of like the old suicide doors, they open up backwards. You see the lip there so it does drain overboard. Fairly dry down there. Pull up on a sandbar, release the ladder. There is a uh, anchor that goes underneath there. When you release the ladder and pull it over, you can also drop that light. You get back on, you do have the fresh water shower and also your dock lights when you're showing up at night to the dock. Pull up cleats, stay out of the way. Handrails, Sirius satellite radio hooked up to this as well. The, the stereo system in these is really kicking. Your pump out for your uh, your six, I believe it's a six or seven gallon holding tank this year um, for your head. As you can see, the other colors that are available 
I wish I could get that last one in here. There's that electric blue that's new for this year. Let's see if you can see that from here. Really pretty color, especially that fire red and that gray. Another uh, blue interior, and here we have the gray interior. Up above, we have a place to tow. You just reach through and hook up your tow rope, and you can tow some tubers. Um, or, of course, any other type of uh, anything else you'd like to tow on this boat as well. Skiers. You see that here. With your light above. These you do pop off, and the bimini just goes away within about one minute. Another popular option is to get a power pole mount on the back transom so when you do pull up to shore you just drop the power pole down, you anchor off and then, uh, and then you're going off to the uh, sandbar. And that's the 2017 Suncoast 250.